this moment. But what do you make of developments so far? Well, I, I think it, it was inevitable, given the way the APC was cobbled together for the purpose of displacing Good Luck Jonathan. It was, a, it was an assemblage of, of tactical friends with one shared purpose, remove Good Luck Jonathan. Um, that purpose has been accomplished. And so, first of all, the foundations were probably predictable that this could happen. But secondly, um, I think the president and his, and his clique of advisors have not done that much to keep the tent convenient for everybody. And so, first of all, you have those who came into the party from from the PDP, the so-called new PDP, NPDP, who are very, very disaffected. Uh, but surprisingly, some of the leadership of this new reformed APC are, APC are actually members of the president's own core in the CPC. Buba Galadima, who made the announcement on behalf of the group, was, was a very powerful mm -hmm. member of President Buhari's CPC yes. clique, was the secretary of the party. Uh, and so you could find, and you could find people like Kwakwan So, you could find, project a set of scenarios in which the Senate President, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, many former governors, many senators could end up abandoning the APC. Also, oh, the Senate President hasn't abandoned no, he hasn't, the, but, the but MAPC I, yet. Yes, but, but I'm saying, well, you could easily project a set, and if you're familiar with Nigerian politics, you, see, you, see, could, very you could almost make a bet on that. You know, it's on, interesting on that you should happening. bring in this angle, the mm. fact that um, these people came together for mm. sole purpose of taking out the former president, mm -hmm. and now that aim has been fulfilled, it's, right, you know, it's time to just get back to where they were. At the same time, those who have left, like you've just mentioned, are actually core members of the CPC, that's the president's party before the coalition that took mm -hmm. place um, earlier. Now, going through reports, you have them talking about the fact that they had to leave the party because, of course, the party did not fulfill the promises on which it was formed in the first place. Do you really think it's really coming from the fact that they think the MAPC, which is a mainstream APC, mm. hasn't delivered? Or is it just more of what you mentioned earlier? Well, well, there's also that. Um, the, the fact is that many Nigerians, I would say, I could indeed say most Nigerians, um, have not been satisfied with the outcomes that they've gotten from President Buhari and the APC. And even if the APC folks, I'm sure when they're in their rooms, are sincere to themselves, they will admit that their party has not delivered mm -hmm. on the change that they promised. Has any just. party ever delivered, though? You know, well, well, well we, we see presidents across the world who deliver on their promises to their people. We see state governors in some I'm talking cases. talking about Nigeria, yeah. But in Nigeria, well... Um, um, this has been a, you know, the president came in with a, a high level of euphoria. Yeah. A high, the, I mean, raised expectations. Everybody thought, yeah, um, maybe delusionally, in my view, maybe there was very little basis. Maybe there was very little rational basis for those expectations. But, but those were the expectations that the party sold to the Nigerian people. And those were the promises they made. And the Nigerians believed them. A lot of it was hype. A lot of it was propaganda. But the people believed them. So they've been disappointed. Security, arguably, is worse than it was. Yes, some people claim there's some progress with Boko Haram. But we have a bigger problem now with, with the killings mm -hmm. and the headsmen. Um, we have a, an economy that is very suboptimal, barely out of recession, going at crawling at, at levels Unemployment soaring by over 10 million people during the president's tenure. Um, and um, politics poorly handled. Okay, so, so the president has also not played the father figure yeah. that tends to unite yeah. people, yeah. both within the party, within the government, and in the nation as a whole. So it's not surprising that this. But what kind of players were seen up? in the new party? Do you think they're really strong enough to make a, a difference? Or is it just the same of the same? It almost seems like, you know, we just keep turning, you know, that ball around and it's just the same people that keep, you know, coming up. So do you think being under a new umbrella makes the difference? Absol or is, that, is it a question I, 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 of individuals I, 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 and what, the purpose what, what for which What we have is not a disagreement of our ideals. Mm. This is a disagreement of our power, over patronage, over 
perceptions of the president's clicking. Yeah. The president has a very narrow power circle. Uh, politicians don't like that. Um, so, so, so we're not naive about what this is about. Yeah. However, it's in the interest of the, of the nation for you to redemocratize the, the polity when it seems power is becoming too narrowly concentrated. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm not displeased that we're probably going to have a reconfiguration of the power yeah. caucuses across the country because, quite frankly, the president has... So talking about, talking about a reconfiguration, let's talk about the fate of these new members mm. who are forming a new party. We already understand what the Constitution says um, about that. Do you think a new party can give them legal coverage? Because, I mean, leaving the party, clearly, it means you're giving up them. your seats. Because, I mean, the AP, unless on the grounds, of course, you, where the party has a division. But then you have MAPC saying there is no division. Well, that's why politicians, politicians, Nigerian politicians, contrive these factions to give themselves legal cover because of the constitutional provisions. That except your party is factionalized. If you leave the party, you lose your position. Yeah.